Ian from Lean Media, today I'm going to walk you through the steps to create a removal order for Amazon FBA inventory. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it, follow me, let's get started. So this is where most of the action will take place, the FBA inventory page. Before I do the steps to actually remove an item, I wanna show you two things you should check before you get into it. The first thing is, is if you have any Amazon advertising campaigns running for that particular item, uh, turn it off right now. So go to the campaign settings, find the active paused toggle and make sure that it's set to pause because you don't wanna be spending money on something that you're gonna be removing from inventory. The second thing you should really do is check the remove inventory overview page on Amazon Seller Central and make sure, first of all, you understand the process. They actually have a very helpful video right here, which I, I just watched. The other thing you need to understand are the time requirements and the time limits. So note that it says removal orders may take 90 days or more to process. So if you're in a hurry to get this stuff back, um, don't count on Amazon providing it for you. And indeed, if you need to get it back really quickly, you may need to find another method to get a hold of that inventory uh, because re the removal order may not bring it to you in time. Uh, and let's get going to FBA inventory page on Amazon Seller Central to get the removal order in process. You can see I have quite a few items here. The item that I'm re removing is this one at the very bottom. And one thing I wanna say is that I have automated removal set up for some items that don't sell through. It doesn't happen that often, to be honest with you, because I'm pretty good about monitoring that. In this particular case, this is a seasonal item. It's very expensive. Um, these items will not sell through for, for the remainder of this particular season or period. So I'm gonna create a manual removal order. So, uh, you don't need to select the item. Just go to the very right, right side of the page where it says restock inventory and then select, set, uh, where is it? Create removal order. And then you'll have some options here. I'm gonna blow it up so you can see it better. So choose method of removal. That's the first thing. I don't wanna liquidate this. This is actually a very expensive item. I want to return to address. And also I do not want to dispose. So make sure you have the right thing checked off there. Uh, this is my address. If I wanted to change it, I would press change and enter some new information. For instance, if I was sending it back to a warehouse, I could do that. You can also set a removal order ID, but Amazon will create its own removal order ID. And then make sure that it's the right product. Make sure the SKU is correct. For instance, if you have multiple variations of something, make sure you're getting the right one. And now it says fulfillable quantity for removal. Now there's only four units available and you can choose a maximum of four, which is what I'm going to do. Um, but if let's say I had 100 and I only wanted to remove half of them, I would just put in 50. So then I'm going to review, make sure that it's correctly showing up here and then confirm. And one other thing I wanna add, if you're doing a situation where you're removing hundreds or thousands of items, you can also upload a spreadsheet, but this is just for a single item manual removal order. I'm gonna click confirm there. And then it says removal order, and it gives this number right here, has been placed. So it's gonna take some time and we'll see what happens. They said 90 days or more. In my experience, you know, sometimes it does take a month or two, uh, hopefully not 90 days, but we'll find out. It's kind of like the end of the holiday period, so they're gonna be pretty busy at the at the fulfillment center. So we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna close and return the previous page, and we're good to go. If this video helped, please take a moment to like it and follow me. If you go to leanmedia.org, it's my official website, click on blog. I have tons more posts about using Amazon and sharing my experience being an Amazon seller for many years. Thank you so much for watching.